Darlene, the chief you knew doesn't exist anymore. Our race has been reborn entirely. The old chief who used to dance the in front of the bonfire is now buried beneath the fields of Agris. A young, giant and mighty chief has taken his place and now leads us goblins to the great battlefield. <laughs> What are you ladies doing here in the perilous Goblin's Forest? I myself have come here to inform the Scout Grusha about something. Head of the Goblin Infiltration Task Force, Grusha North. According to foreign agreement, your job as a scout has been terminated. I'm sure you're well aware that the Goblins turning vicious and aggressive is causing quite a setback in trade relations with Serendia. The Chief and Grand Chamberlain have already come to an agreement. You have no other choice than to follow their orders. What the... you? That's because the Imps attacked our Goblin base! You're still acting as the Goblin's mouthpiece, eh? Understand that Velia has no further plans to coexist with the Goblins. Yes, I mean, um... Goblins didn't do anything wrong. Please, I, I beg you, give me another chance. If you only let me speak with them. Another chance? Does Velia come first or do goblins? You're relieved of your post, and you'll serve probation from your own home. I spent a day finding out what the goblins are up to. Well, who have we here? The hero who defeated Red Nose! Did you say you want to meet Grusha and the Goblin King, Giaf? We're more than glad to have someone as skilled as you do us a favor. But are you sure that you'll be fine with someone like him? Since our chief is so fond of you, I'll trust you with this task. However, bear in mind, the goblins are awaiting our swift subjugation. You'll have to finish the job quick before we start the attack. I'm looking forward to seeing the skills of one who could take down Red Nose. <laughs> Thank you! Thanks for protecting us goblins! Goblins are kind. But I don't know where the Chief is either yet. Let's ask friends. They'll surely help. Oh, I almost forgot. We must go through a ritual before we do. Or else my friends won't let you step foot near them. If you gain an understanding of our tradition as you destroy those totems, the goblins will accept you as their friend. Uh, I mean, not all of them. Everyone's been on edge since the appearance of the new king.
Toto and my other goblin friends. T Toto, this person stood against the Veli of Vigilantes. <laughs> He says, thanks for protecting our forest, and that the king is within the goblin cave, but he is also not. Huh? Toto, what do you mean? You want me to look at the mural behind us? Was it redrawn? Us goblins are a race that have called Balanos home for some time now, just like the people of Velia. Well... That was before that violent, red-nosed imp exiled us. That's why the old chief would offer up prayers to the ancestors every day. He prayed for youth and the power to protect his race. Then, one day, a man wrapped in black robes approached him. The man didn't stay long, but imparted a black-coloured stone unto the chief. Shortly after, the aged, feeble chief passed from this world, after Siren, the new king. That stone might have been poison given to the aged chief to give up his own life. Huh? Hey, he wants you to follow him! Honorary goblins like I cannot enter. Only pure-blooded Gaia goblins can enter. <laughs> Toto says that he'll support us. However, he also says that you'll have to fight against the Gaia goblins. The goblins are more vicious towards outsiders than ever. Do you think you can do this? <laughs> a human commander's body has become the vessel that hosts our king. But our king still bears the name of Gear. Oh, mighty king, please protect us goblins. Please restore our peace. That must mean this stone grave actually contains... It doesn't matter. It's all for the benefit of goblins. Lend us strength!
sorry. I know this place is dangerous, but curiosity killed the cat, right? I, I mean... Oh. Look! Black energy erupted from the cave you exited from and formed this illusion on the rock. I've seen this symbol in one of my father's books. It's a mark indicating the Goblin King is hiding in a dark rift. <coughs> what brings you ladies here to such a dangerous place? I thought I might find something useful, so we paid a visit to my grandfather's study. The goblins stole the book we, uh, uh borrowed while we were looking for you. What do they even need a human book for? My ladies, all goblins know that boiling letters in a cauldron will make you smarter. I will take the ladies to Finto Farm, where it's safe. Find Lady Emma's book. You must look for a giant cauldron. I knew I could trust you. Now, let's read the book to find out whose body Gith actually inhabited. Uh, let's see... Uh... Oh, here it is! Croxus Antonio, guard captain for Noir III in Elionian year 135, forfeited his life when he dared to admonish his king for attempting to sacrifice a young maiden and child to attain immortality. The immortal alchemist said the ritual must go on, and the enraged king had Croxus executed, and his remains scattered over Awas Hill. It's him. The one who led me to that sin-laden castle. He met such a tragic end. To lose his own flesh as well. He must have appeared in my dreams for a reason. I need to speak with him. Is there any way we can summon Geath from the Dark Rift? There must be a way, Lady Emma. But first, you must eat. Your grandfather would have me hanged if I'd let you pass out. <laughs> we shall ask Martina, the farm owner, for some food. I'd be more than happy to whip you up a meal. But nothing comes for free now, does it? The farm wasn't always looking a mess like this. You can thank the goblins for that. I'd be more than happy to whip you up a meal, but nothing comes for free now, does it? I'd be more than happy to whip you up a meal, but nothing comes for free now, does it? I'll be more than happy to handle the cooking, though I know most of your harvest has already gone out to Velia. Eileen, be a deer and scrounge up some potatoes from the field, and your company can get the chicken porridge started. I'm not sure if we've got any hearty potatoes left. It's not the first time goblins have made a mess of our field. Mm. Mm, that earthy aroma. Oh, it reminds me of my grandmother's steamed potatoes. That didn't take too long, right? <laughs> I have good senses.
our stomachs are full. Let's try putting our heads together. Geath chose a body that's been dead for quite some time. According to what I know of nature, the body should have decomposed already. So how do you think he got around that? Oh, that reminds me of something Father taught me last week in class. It was something on alchemy used to track time. I remember it because I really struggled with the reagents. Clorin said something like, Eileen, what good's a head if you don't even use it? Then she said, um, what did she say? Uh, Eileen, you're so stupid you'd flip over an hourglass to check the time. Oh, right! Sands of time! Using Papa's special recipe, it's possible to restore the flow of time where it's been halted. Ah, uh, but it's difficult to get the materials. Only black stones of a purity of at least 73% will work. Papa brought some such stones to class last week, but I think uh, I used them all up. <laughs> Color me surprised. I should have brought Clorence along. She would have come up with another plan, surely. I'm sorry. I'm not Clorence. <sighs> I think you're crossing the line here, Takros. My grandfather will hear of your behavior. Eileen, don't give up. There is always a way. We will find it together. Well... <sighs> I... I suppose certain ingredients can be substituted. But we'd need a... an object one would sacrifice their life for. A goblin's horn should do then, I imagine. I can't understand why the bastards are so obsessed with this. Here! Over here! I have a black stone! It once belonged to the old chief. Singular mind, eh? You keep mum until we start on about goblins. That black stone is better put to use elsewhere. Right now, we have a better tool at our disposal. The goblins themselves. Quiet! I can't think! I'm becoming potato brain standing in all these potatoes. Uh, what's your gut tell you, adventurer? I'll follow your lead. You won't regret putting your faith in me, for sparing the lives of my friends. I'm forever in your debt. It's not that I can't understand where Takros is coming from. He's one of the Medean deserters that was stationed at Kron Castle. When Giyaf, our king, assaulted Kron Castle, many lives were lost. No doubt the loss of his comrades, his captain, contributed to his desertion. Though Takros may feel Chief Igor helped put that behind him when he settled in Velia, he still holds that anger. Don't allow him to stoke that hatred. Use the stone for something good. Time to finally put my alchemical training to use. <laughs> oh, is anyone else feeling faint? No, it, it's okay, I'm fine. Ah. Huh. Shall we start the process of creating the Sands of Time? Now, please fetch me the first ingredient. I require fresh blood of a weasel. Fortunately, there are plenty of weasels around the farm. And I've even brought my best friend along. This book may look a bit worn out, but she's full of knowledge. Without her, I'd never pass an alchemy exam.
Next, we'd need a shimmering wildflower. They're sometimes found blooming in Awal's plains. The story goes that the shimmering lights from these wildflowers are the very souls of innocent children who were sacrificed in the foolish King Luar's search for eternal life. Let's go hunt out a decent spot to brew up our concoction. Takros, can we trust you to protect us without riling up any more goblins? Thank goodness we have Grusha's black stone. Is it just me? Or are things going smoother than expected? here quickly and just in time ta-da i managed to put together a makeshift magic cauldron don't look at me like that it actually took a lot of ingenuity to put that together all right now if we perform some simple alchemy with these ingredients we should obtain something known as the fragments of time don't look at me like that it actually took a lot of ingenuity to put that together Oh, look at the color of the smoke. Uh, I think that means you were successful. I mean, none of my past attempts produced such a color, so... That's good. Now take those, uh, place them inside the pot, and you will be able to create the sands of time. <gasps> yes! Oh, I can't believe it. It, it! it worked! Oh, let me take a look at that. Hmm... Hands of time. Oh, we did it! Hooray! If only Father would put this recipe on my next test. It's the moment of truth. I shall call for my men. It's time we finally reveal the fiend behind the mask. Finally. I shall meet with the one I've seen only in my dreams. This doesn't feel right. Pray, be careful, adventurer. Sprinkle this on the goblin mural atop Awas Hill, and you'll be able to summon forth gear from the Dark Rift.
probably should have already arrived in Velia by now. Goodness, adventurer. Whatever are you? It was you, Gieth. The one who pushed me towards Kron Castle in my dreams. Uh, Emma, be careful, okay? Will she be alright, adventurer? He appears to be saying something. Adventurer, I wish to speak with him. I need the power and wisdom to protect my people. It seems that I still lack both. I need more black stones. The black stones granted me the gift of this flesh. At the same time, so too began this dreadful nightmare of Kron. He spoke to me. If I wished for the nightmares to end, all I needed to do was but destroy the relic atop the spire at Kron Castle. Who was he? Are you speaking of the man clad in black robes? Was he the one who gave you the black stone? You seem to know a lot more than I thought. As he instructed me, I advanced toward Kron Castle. Bringing destruction to all I laid eyes upon. And yet, at the Spire, I encountered one who could not be killed. This body I inhabit froze at first sight. You two have been dreaming the same nightmares as I. What did you find at the Spire? <sighs> It overwhelms me once more. Soon this body shall no longer be able to reside in this world. By the time I return, I shall be caught in the abyss. 
maddened by a pain that only my flesh shall remain crying out. If only someone would remember that I shall protect my poor tribe forever. Gia, wait! <laughs> I'm speechless. Did you end up losing that fiend? We should have joined forces to exterminate him and the rest of the goblins for good. Geeth is gone for good, so you can rest easy. Though, uh, do you perhaps know who's guarding the relic within Cron Castle? And where'd you hear something like that? That kind of knowledge shouldn't be tossed around so casually. It doesn't matter how we know, we know. You're resident of Velia now, Takros. Don't you think it's your civic duty to tell us? Understood, milady. I shall tell you of all that I know. None of this is news to the chief anyway. The reason the Dean deserters could stay in those ruins, well-fed, well-supplied, is due to aid from an outside benefactor. Not a clue whom. They only dealt directly with our leader. Hmm. Outside benefactor. <laughs> Sounds wealthy. And powerful. Oh, any chance he's got a baby face, too? I'm not sure. In exchange for their constant support, they had only one condition. For us to protect the Spire's entrance at any cost. We were also instructed to never open the entrance. Didn't stop a few fellows whose curiosity was greater than their sense. What happened to them? They died. Milady, you're not thinking of going there now, are you? We must head to Cron Castle. Adventurer, I believe this is the most opportune time with you by our side. I see there's no changing your mind, Milady. Though I'd ask, if all goes well, that you put in a good word for me with the Chief. With our current numbers, a full frontal assault would be suicide. We need to go in with a small team to infiltrate enemy lines. Once inside, you'll find a man named Beetle hiding out in exile. He's the only fool still alive who's tried to open those gates. He too seems interested in getting out, settling down in Velia. With enough persuasion, I imagine he'd offer his full cooperation. I'll remain here and keep an eye out for Geath if he ever returns. I entrust these ladies in your care. If I ever get a promotion, drinks are on me. You are sneaking up on me like that. I'm gonna piss myself. Eh? Come again? You want me to sneak you into the castle? And you'll get me Velian citizenship, is that right? How are you aiming to do that? Getting you in alone would be a feat in itself. But getting the lot of you in? Forget it. Hello there. I I'm Eileen. I beg you reconsider. We really can keep our word. Uh, this girl, right here? Her grandfather's the chief of Velia. 
And rumor has it that you'd like to start a new life in town, so, uh... Oh, so she is. The stone-faced wench herself. Ooh. <clears throat> Just poured right out of me, that did. Apologies. <laughs> Let me start again. Name's Beetle. I would happily be your guide. I may not look it, but I hail from a long line of guild advisors. The reason we've been stationed here for so long was due to our dealings with some outsiders. Not sure which merchant guild they hail from, but they kept us well equipped and well fed with a steady stream of supplies. If we say we're here to inspect the supplies, they'll let us through. When they shout the passphrase, black or red, reply, silver. Thinking our grizzled adventure here would be a dead giveaway. To play the part of a merchant, best let the ladies handle it. Is that? Ah, don't mind her, she's new. Sounds like you guys are having a hard day, yeah? Shit like this just makes it harder. Move along. Let's go then. <sighs> Another inspection, eh? Do we really need two a day? Well, it's like we say any merchant worth their spice always measures storage thrice. Hold up! I recognize that ugly mug. Beetle! What are you doing showing your face here? God! Anyone? Close. I'll hand it to you. You're more capable than you look. Anyway, what's brought you on this gaggle of classy lasses to such a dangerous place as this? We're here to examine the ruins of Kron Castle Spire. No need to be alarmed. Takros told us everything. And yet, even though it is the first time I'm physically here, it's somewhat unnerving. I've seen this place so many times in my nightmares. ...that it all seems so familiar. Nightmares? Does your ladyship have such horrid dreams too? Then she must be... Are you the expert who's traveled the world studying specters? Huh? A an expert? <laughs> no. No, not yet anyway. My sister's the one to call on for that. Why? Are you all struggling with nightmares too? No, please, you must tell us. Yes, we are. It wasn't as bad as this before, but... They've become far more frequent these days. The vengeful souls of this castle torment me in my dreams. Especially those gathered in the well over there. Apparently, one of the kings of old poisoned the well. And gathered up all the dead maidens' bodies. Ah, oh, just the thought gives me chills. What? What do you mean you want to go there? Just look, it's practically swarming with soldiers. Is this well really so important? What are you going to do? Set the whole place on fire, then just waltz in for a chat with some goats? Is that the plan? <laughs> oh, that's given me an idea. Here, adventurer, take this. Remembering Hannah. You recognize it, don't you? This is the journal Richie recovered from the Bartali Ossuary. The one from the Kron period. Like Beetle said, let's play with fire. Set a tent alight to create chaos among the soldiers. Then burn this book over the well. Igniting the reagent should manifest the spirits. But, oh, such a waste. Such a precious reagent wasted on this. Oh, there go my plans for conjuring a hunky specter on a lonely evening. <laughs> oh, that's given me an idea. Here, adventurer, take this. Remembering Hannah.
touch the spire door again? Have vengeful souls returned? Uh, uh, The king's descendant has finally deigned to step foot here, the sinful legacy of her forbearers coursing through her veins. We cried out incessantly, for how could we remain silent? Yet to have our cries reach only the ears of the loathsome royal line, a cruel fate indeed. For why did we cry? Our children held captive is why, trapped within the spire. Beaten by chilling winds, guarded by the king's mighty knight. Do you yet wonder why we still cling to this realm? Would a mother, a father, abandon their own child? That knight was formerly the guard captain of Noir III. It is said his martial prowess was only surpassed by his loyalty to his king. A loyalty so boundless that he, with the aid of alchemy, abandoned his humanity and became, in all senses, a monster in order to better serve his lord. This sacrifice robbed him of his flesh and, when the deed was done, he was reborn as the frightful Phantom Knight, charged with guarding this place eternally. Somewhere in the castle is the scroll of the alchemist. That scroll should allow you to call forth the Phantom Knight. I beseech thee, smite down the Phantom Knight and set our children free. I wish to feel my children in my arms one last time. Who are you talking to? Ghosts? Actual ghosts? Look, I should let you know, I'm allergic to paranormal activity. You need to know how to find a scroll belonging to the ancient alchemist. You think I keep a mental log of every text I see? Do I look like a librarian? I believe there was a special task force assigned to guarding important documents. The problem is, this unit headed by Commander Randall is always changing location. No need to worry, though. It's not hard to get our hands on the info we need. All we need is a document showing where personnel are stationed. Let's nab it off a rookie over there. Why am I not fighting alongside you? Are you so heartless, adventurer? Practically yesterday I was breaking bread with these guys. Killing them would feel... crummy. Let's have a look here. Hey, careful! It's a long way down and I've got a feeling all the king's horses and men aren't interested in putting me back together again. Looks like... Huh! They're at that spire! We can get there by climbing this ladder. What? This is all that's left of Commander Randall's unit? I'd recommend keeping your guard up. It could still be a trap.
No, no. It was only thanks to your heroic distraction that I could get here first. Don't get that out of shape about it. Take a look at this flower pot. Pretty suspicious, eh? Oh, brilliant! From what I can make of this map, there might be something down there. Aha! And next to the door, that box. Do you see it? doubts about the success of this mission. We should head over there next, up the ladder to our exit. The Phantom Knight is a solitary force serving only Noir the Third. It's folly to think reading off a scroll alone would summon it at your whim. The ruins of that spire you're attempting to approach was raised here by none other than the immortal alchemist himself, Caphris. He swayed the king with promises of immortality, but unfortunately for the king, Caphris' true intentions laid elsewhere. Bringing the evil god Hadoom into this world required the most evil of acts, the ritual sacrifice of pure and innocent lives. It is fortunate that the ritual ended in failure, but the power that lingers in these ruins of pure black stones remains strong. The souls trapped within are bound here waiting for one who can free them of the chains that eternally bind them. My name is Croxis of Whale, proud knight of Kron. I dared speak out before the king, and for that I was executed. The reason Geirth froze at the sight of the Phantom Knight is because my flesh was imprisoned by his hands. I, too, have waited a long time for this. For you, who shall break the chains of vengeance. Ladies are waiting. Hurry and climb the ladder. Ah, ah, ah. Adventures first. Adventurer, we were worried that you had suffered some kind of accident. Do you know how many years I've stood guard here? <laughs> I could climb the castle with my eyes closed. Wow, that's 
Impressive, I guess. But why were you kicked out again? After all I've done, you're not thinking of leaving me behind, are you? I mean, honestly speaking, our whole situation didn't sit right with me. We're all suffering from ghostly nightmares at night while being bloodied and bruised from brawling with goblins during the day. All for the sake of protecting some tiny piece of land with some run-down ruins. Whatever were we putting our lives at stake for? A man's life is precious to him, isn't it? I felt I'd earned a bonus of sorts. Just so happened the men who caught me pilfering the captain's room didn't agree. Happy now? Let's get a move on. To the Chamber of Secrets over yonder. Relax a bit now. The spire is right above us. Everyone's too afraid of the Phantom Knight's curse to approach here anyway. Huh? What is that chest you've been lugging around? And that scroll? What? What on earth? This is... <gasps> Caphras' own handwriting! This... Can summon forth the Phantom Knight, you say? Oh, let me see that. Now, where is it? <gasps> oh! A doom for Hora Kahaliak? This can't be. This scroll bears the orders of Hadoom, the god of darkness. The words on the scroll mean nothing if the king isn't the one to speak them. The Phantom Knight only heeds his call. And he's been gone ages. His kingdom in ruin. And even the kingdom that came after. All trace of him gone. But no. Uh, do you think... The dreams I've dreamt thus far can't be mere coincidence. The blood that flows in my veins may rouse the night to my call. Uh, hold on. You're not some legendary adventurer like your grandpa or your great-uncle Lancelot. Uh, are you sure this'll work? Coincidence and fate are two sides of the same coin. As grandfather likes to say when he's on a hot streak in Yar. Eileen, stand at the altar and read aloud the scroll's incantation. Then I, bearer of royal blood, shall call upon the Phantom Knight. As for your role, adventurer, please take down the Phantom Knight. Father, do you think I can do this? thyself, pledging sword to something greater, O knight who's pledged unyielding devotion to God. I, a Bartali, summon thee by thine oath.
door to the spire has finally opened. Look there! Oh, my word! A relic of Capra's lies right before my eyes! Oh, never thought I'd beat Clorence to such a sight. No time to stand gawking. Hurry! To the spire with you. Take the ladies. Me? Uh, the remaining deserters may have been alerted by now. So I'll stay here and stand watch. Quickly now! Understood. Then, let us ascend this tragic spire. with the immortal alchemist Kafras. The poor souls that befell their wicked plot called out to me. Now has finally come the time to bring peace to their endless suffering. Go on. I'm sorry. I pray you find peace. sense any sadness, but rather warmth, mm, like home. Except without Florence. Could it be the stories left by the freed souls? Their sentiments of gratitude for not forgetting about them. This light must be a gift for all of us. I believe it's time we return back to our ordinary lives.
then suddenly, an impressive display of fireworks. Then someone came along and went pow right in his big red nose. Papa, don't forget my present. Of course not. Listen to your mother now, you hear? I shall return with a Heidel cocktail dress for my little princess. Oh, finally, some room to breathe. Onwards, to Heidel! Oh, if I can get ya, I've still got a chance. About as much chance as catching Red Nose locking lips with Kiev. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they do say no news is good news, but still... Uh, what? Darling! Why, hello there, adventurer. Oh, such nice weather. If only an adventurer would come buy up all my wares so I can close early. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was just about to close up shop anyway. It's been a while since Emma returned to Velia. I wonder where she could be. Shall we look for her by the old wharf? Emma always enjoyed the sea breeze while staring off into the distance. tell you Hey Emma <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here uh, Nothing Adventurer thanks again because of you, I was able to wash away some of my ancestral sins. So here you are. Our house has waited a long time for this moment. For the breaker of chains who freed those souls. I misjudged you as little more than a greenhorn playing an adventurer. And I thought I'd found the perfect partner in tomfoolery. <laughs> I never would have guessed you'd be the one to save our village. I'm sorry, Igor. This doesn't seem fishy to you. That man who gave the black stones to Red Nose and Giev. Oh, come on, Doc. I mean, the foul mood has finally been chased from Velia. And besides, this poor adventurer must be starving by now. <laughs> right, Emma? Uh, mm hmm Adventurer, if it's all right with you, it would be our honor to treat you to a simple meal. Quite yet. Chief, could you entertain the adventurer for a bit? Eileen and I will run ahead to prepare. Take your time, but don't be too late. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen my dear Emma smile like that. Thank you for shining a ray of sunlight upon House Bartali. While the girls are preparing the meal, would you mind paying Lorenzo Murray, the stable keeper in the southern part of the village, a visit? The villagers have prepared a small token of their appreciation for you. Also, 
There's an important guest who's come all the way here to find you. Ah, I do believe I've taken enough of your time. You should head off now. Have a lovely time with the girls. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget, Velia is always open to you. Red Nose, Geath, and now some Phantom Knight? You're building quite the reputation. I've even heard the title Breaker of Chains? Her Royal Highness, Princess Duret Domengart of Great Serendia, long may she reign, has made the long journey here to extend an invitation to you to Heidel. Back then, when you said you were Eden Stooge, that was a lie, am I right? Someone of your caliber would never stoop so low as to work beneath that ruffian. Anyway, thanks to your efforts, the goblin threat has been greatly diminished and trade between Serendia and Velia has been reopened. You've also caught the eye of Grand Chamberlain Jordine Ducasse, who's extended an official invitation to you as well. Come now, let's pack your things and prepare for the journey to Heidel. Don't make us wait too long now. Let us take our leave, Roig. Yes, Princess. We shall depart immediately, Princess. Now you. The Grand Chamberlain is a busy man. Anyway, thanks to your efforts, the goblin threat has been greatly diminished and trade between Serendia and Velia has been reopened. Someone was in big trouble. To have Princess Juret of Serendia come to my stable of all places. There's a lunchbox that Lady Islin put together here. A bit of carrots from Lagia Farm there. And Buster's snacks all over the... Yeesh. Anywho, the chief prepared a few things here and there. A trusty horse is crucial if you wish to head all the way over to Hydell. See you again sometime in the near future. Velia is always open to you. <laughs> oh, adventurer, you've arrived. You must be starving. It's not much, but we've prepared what we have as best we could. Well, look 
look who it is. <laughs> the personal guest of Grand Chamberlain Jordine himself. Oh my, are you leaving for Hydel? My goodness, I hear all the men there are gorgeous. I'm so jealous. I guess Velia pales in comparison. W well, Velia is homely enough for me. <laughs> homely? <laughs> Your cooking is the best, Emma. Well, I'm off to take a nap. I hope the food was to your liking, adventurer. I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I'm not sure if it was my best. Maybe when you return from Heidel, I could prepare another meal for you? Properly this time. Heidelians always say, time is like wine. Waste not a drop. Best not to keep the Grand Chamberlain waiting. And remember, when you're in Velia, you shop at Eileen's. If I catch you around Clorence's store, well, uh, I'd be absolutely heartbroken. <laughs> Deliver this directly to Lady Emma. She need know the truth of her grandfather, despite his aloof demeanor. There's none in all the land who cares for her quite like he does. Infiltrate in the forest in that preposterous goblin get-up. All at the command of the chief, for her sake. He sought any means that might rid her of her nightmares, at any cost. Look who it is! <laughs> who thought I'd see you again? It is I, Grusha, the Goblin. <laughs> Ridiculously good looking, ain't I? <laughs> well, take a good look now, because I'm leaving Velia. There's no longer any Goblin threat, thanks to you. Though that hasn't put a stop to her ladyship's nightmares. It truly does pain me to see her suffer so. And so I've made up my mind. Like you, I too shall head out into the world to broaden my horizons. Leaving a feeble scout. And someday returning a knight to watch over her ladyship. <laughs> I have you to thank for this as well. I hope we meet again. Until then, may hope light your way through the toughest of times. Halt! There will be an inspection. <laughs> Just playing with you. It's a joke. I'm Kirkley, affiliated with Heidel. It's a pleasure to meet you.
doesn't seem to be from Belenos. Are you an adventurer? Nice to meet you. It is our fate to meet like this. How about a handshake? Mother told me to treat her. You from Veria? Uh, nice to meet you. It is our fate to meet like this. How about a handshake? Oh, my older brother told me to treat all. Lost the war. It is not in the nature of Hydellians to lose pride.
Despite being a formality, please cooperate on checking your identity. Alfion, those scoundrels. This inn used to be my property, though it's under Calfion as of now. Reasons why I borrowed money from Calfion. Isabel won't be home. Booting Wizard's Tower! Thank <laughs> you. 
Wizard's Tower.
this inn used to be my... Isabel won't be holding your head high for long. Ah, Calpheon, those scoundrels. Isabel won't be holding your head high for long. Ah, Calpheon, those scoundrels. Isabel won't be holding your head high for long. Ah, Calpheon, those scoundrels. Isabel won't be holding your head high for long. Ah, Calpheon, those scoundrels. Isabel won't be holding your head John high for long. Ah, great Calpheon, well. those scoundrels. Isabel won't be holding your head high for long. Having trust in Heidel is not an easy task. Jordion, there must be something he's hiding. We, the Jean Merchant Guild, are hoping to coexist this for a while. Just the Rishi! cannot be bargained with. All the gemstones that I carry have that much value. If you spend much time on foot, try a gemstone that makes you lighter. There are ones that increase your luck. You can make a lightweight plume by processing cuckoo bird plume. I could be the most attentive mother ever, if only Lara could open her heart a little bit. Gemstones cannot be bargained with. All the gemstones that I carry have that much value. This what about? belongs to us. No matter how many times I go over it, I can't understand. You can acquire anything you wish for in Calpheon. Having trust in Heidel is not an easy task. Jordion, there must be something in his heart.
Isabel won't be holding her hand. What are you waiting for? Are you with Bobby Lauren? There will be no forgiveness if you are rude to Isabel. My axe has no patience. We should just wrap it! It would be safe to keep your horse here, if you have one. I was thinking of an old friend of mine for a moment. Rundy. He never actually started a There's no need to be lenient on the ones who betrayed their own country. Isn't that right? Rundi. Having no flexibility is his own fault. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> this over with quickly so we can leave you call this a gateway look at this crude design unacceptable
It's about getting things done properly and in a timely manner. That's what's important for us.